Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4984 as a special dedication to Alicia, who's been stuck on this for a while, and I can see why. We have 22 moves to collect 18 ingredients. They're all going to need to be collected down here, but we've got these crystal candies and then this really thick frosting, especially down here, to get through. And if I start bringing these down, then what's going to happen is they're going to become barriers and it's going to be harder for me to make moves here. Although I am getting a UFO. That's nice. If I can hold off and use that when I really need it, which is probably going to be extremely soon, that would be better for me. That does not look like a green, does it? Oh, it was a green. It's hard to tell when it's super thick, for me anyway. Some people probably have uh, much better eyes than I do. I'd like to leave this intact and just move the purple here. It can't. That's not how it's going to work. So I'm hoping the UFO will take things out down here for me. Well, that's not bad. I got some collected. Alicia, I have the feeling that this is going to be one of those boards where we're going to need quite a bit of luck to help us out. But here's the deal. Even on boards, especially on boards that require luck, what we need to do is try to make the very best moves possible. Because if we've got a lucky board, we don't want to spoil it by making poor choices. I can take a lucky board and ruin it very easily by making bad choices. So if I can concentrate the colors down, that would be good. I see there's a blue coming here, and I can do this, which helps a bit. Uh, now I've got a wrapped candy opportunity, but I'm going to go for the stripe, and I'm actually going to go for the stripe that's set up over here. I could do this, and that's not a bad move, but I'm going to do this instead. And now I see orange coming down into play. I'm going to try to capitalize on that orange if I can. Actually, I'll bring this through as well. Ooh, here we go. So that looks good. We collected that out. But still, I still have 10 more to go. I feel like I'm doing well, and I'm just not there yet even with all of the, the good work I feel like I'm doing. Let's see if we can get a purple with this. Yeah, that's not working out great, is it? So even though I tried my best, I did not get there from here. I still needed 10. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording. The next time you see me play this through, it's either going to be because I found a pitfall that we need to avoid or a strategy that I think works extremely well or because I got a bit of luck, coordinated it with some strategy, and got the win. I'll be right back in just a bit. Okay, now this looks like a fairly decent setup here, and I have to figure out which move would be best to take. It's recommending that I bring the green down here, which would hit all four of these and make a stripe. And then let's think about what else would happen. Then these would come together and be taken out. And then I would have a purple here and a purple here and a purple here. So then we would have that happen. If I, however, do the blue, it would bring a purple here, a purple here, a purple here, and a blue here. So that doesn't provide any better situation for me. I was hoping maybe to get a color bomb with the purple. Let's go ahead and take this. It should be nice cascading. And then instead of using this, I'm going to take this right away. I'm going to do what I can on my own, as long as it's a good move. This one, not so helpful. So now we do this. And I'm glad it went to the corner here. Now see that wrapped candy, it's too far above the ingredient, so it does really nothing. This ingredient will help if I can get it set off. I think I can get a stripe here. I, Alicia, I think that the big deal here is just to be able to see what's under these guys so that we're always making the very best choices possible. If we can't see what's underneath, it's hard to know which is the best choice. Even then, it's sometimes hard to figure out what's going to get us where we need to be. I'm going to do this and, oh, look at that. Now, how can I drop this down one? There, this is what I need. That's exactly what I need. 
Okay, and we've got one stripe going horizontally, and then look at how it took out everything in the center. I know it's always hardest to reach the edges, so if I have the opportunity to go for the edges first, of course I want that. However, it's usually not easiest to go for the edges. Look at this, I can get that edge. And then maybe I can bring these guys downward. I'm actually going to take out some of this orange to try to drop this down so I can make some moves over here. We can take this out a bit. Let's see. So many choices I have to figure out what the best thing is to do, and this is where it gets really tough. I could take this and it would hit here and bring this down. Oh, got to block that out. I could take this out, it would hit here, and bring this down. I think that's what I need to do. There we go. Look at this. We're getting close. Now the question is, would I be served better by doing this and bringing these down, or should I just go straight for this? And I think I have to go straight for this. Actually, do you know what? I'm thinking about making a stripe here, which would set this off once. But what if this slides through? Does this ever slide through? I'm going to do this and see if these slide through. Nope, they don't. So that's my answer. This looks tough to get through, but this looks tougher. I can't tell what that is under there. Mm, looks like it's at least three layers thick. I'd better take this. Okay. I could slide this over one. Oh my goodness. If I slide this over one, and then this gets here, and then a blue drops into position, and then this is a blue, and I slide this over, that's what I need to do. Tricky me. This is so thick to get to. It's going to be hard to do it in that number of moves. So I'm moving both of these guys over here because it's going to be easier to get them to drop through this way. So a bit of trickery, Alicia, but that's what you can do to try to get this board done. Look for opportunities to hit this first. I got a fairly decent setup. That was my fifth playthrough for recording purposes. And then I maximized that by really evaluating each move that I had and trying to make the best move possible and trying to pay attention. I had to put my reading glasses on to figure out what candies were under those crystals so that I could try to match those up to the best of my ability. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you folks have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.